In this video, I'm going to show you how you compare your Amazon Fire TV remote with your TV. If you have a new Amazon Fire Stick remote, new TV, or just want to be able to adjust the TV volume or power using a single remote, I'll show you how you can pair your remotes now. And today, I'm going to be using this second generation remote to pair with my TV. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you how you can pair your remote with your TV for adjusting the volume and turning off the power, just to save you having to use two remote controls. And this will obviously only work on the newer remote controls. So if your remote doesn't have the volume buttons, it means that you'll have an older version. And if that's the case, you'll have to use your TV's own remote to play with the volume. So if you haven't already set this up, from your home screen, if you scroll across to settings, and then to equipment control. And if you go to add equipment and to TV, then as you can see, they recommend you plug your Fi TV into a wall socket using the included power adapter. So once you've done that, you can click on to continue. And then next, it's going to show you a complete list of all the different TV brands for you to choose from. And it'll have some of the most popular brands at the top here. And then they list the rest alphabetically. So I've got a Sony TV, which I'm going to select from the list. And it then tells me to press the power button on your Fire TV remote to turn off your TV. You then got to wait for 10 seconds and then press the power button again to turn it back on. Now, because I'm recording this, you won't actually be able to see the TV going on and off, but mine has done so in the background. So when it comes up and says to me, did your TV turn off and then turn back on when you press the power button, I can simply say yes. If you're not sure though, you can try again. Just remember though to keep your Fire TV remote pointed at the TV when you press that power button. So as you can see, that Fire TV remote has now been updated. Now the next thing I'll do is I'm going to show you how you can change your TV. So this is on a different TV now, and my Fire Stick was originally connected to a Samsung, but I may want to connect this to my Sony TV to get that remote control working on that. So under Equipment Control, and then Manage Equipment, and TV, you can then go down to Change TV. And as you can see on the right here, I'm currently connected to the Samsung TV. So go on to Change TV, and it says it'll actually take five to 10 minutes to set this up, but it is a lot quicker. So let's change TV. And again, it's recommending that you plug your Fire TV into a wall socket using the included power adapter. So once you've done that again, you can click on to continue. Then very similar to setting up a new TV, you're then presented with a list of different brands that you can choose from. And I'm gonna be changing from Samsung to Sony. You'll then need to go through the process of pressing that power button on your Fire TV remote to turn off your TV. Wait for 10 seconds and then press the power button again to turn it back on. And if all that worked correctly, you can go ahead and click onto yes. And as you can see, my Fire TV remote has now been updated. Then one last thing to show you is under remotes and Bluetooth devices. And from here, you can pair unpair and update your Amazon remotes. So you can add new remotes from here and simply follow the prompts that are on screen. And then if we head back, we can also add other devices like game controllers, which you can also pair from here. Or you also have Bluetooth devices like keyboards or mice. So as you can see, it's some pretty simple steps to get these set up. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.